Hey guys, what is going on? It is the Sportsmaster here back with another episode of MLB 14, the show Braves franchise. And guys, we've got a big trade right here. You see Dan ogle has been struggling, hitting 135. And we're going to trade him for Marco Scooter or offer this trade to the Giants. And they accept. So a blockbuster trade there. Trading Dan Ugly straight up for Marco Scudero. And we're going to be playing that team, the Giants. Of course, if you catch my, our last video, Braves franchise, we're talking about how the series will change. And we'll play kind of once a month, once every other month so we can get multiple years done. And if you want to know more about how the team's going, this 24 and 13 start a great start. How our pitching rotation's going, how our lineup's going. You know, just kind of the major things, people that are struggling, trades that I might want to make, go down to where it says GM's notes, that is my sports blog, and you will, uh, just, it's going to be a paragraph or two about, you know, how the team's going, how the pitching staff's doing, and a couple players are struggling, including Dan Ugla, and why I felt that that was a good trade. So again, go down there, so we'll be playing the Giants, and of course, if our last video that we put out, that you saw last night, is that I did find a way that it was saved back after the last video that's where it saved so I had a couple I had about four or five episodes in the future that got erased but every episode that has been uploaded to YouTube that's right where we stopped where the save was so I was able to go back and we'll play one of these games and we are actually playing against a man that was traded by the Braves in the off seasons to the Giants in Tim Hudson and as you see Hudson works on one two three top half at the first so great start there, and that's a familiar place playing second today, Dan Ugla. So he will be starting at second base for them. So anyway, if you want to know again why I thought that was a good trade, go down and follow my sports or my GM notes that will be released after every Braves episode. But as you see, Brandon Beachy is on the mound for us, and he counters Hudson with a 1-2-3 inning of his own. So you see, through one inning, nobody gets a hit. With one out, Hudson with that signature wind up, and Justin Upton will rocket this one right back up the middle for a single. So we get a base runner starting off small here, and Kendris Morales still replacing the injured Freddie Freeman at first. It's now Justin Upton on the run with a stolen base, and he gets in there safely. So Upton trying to create something, and look who's up trying to knock him in. It's the new brave Marco Scudero, and on a, with a 1-1 count, Scudero shoots this one down the right field line. Of course, he has experience playing here. This is his former team, and Justin Upton is safe at the plate. So Marco Scudero, here is his first at-bat that we see him. I believe his first at-bat of in a Braves uniform. That will be a RBI single, so it's one nothing. But as you see, B.J. Upton strikes out the other player that is struggling. Everybody else is doing pretty good except for Ugla and Upton. When we take a break here, we see that we are leading the division by three games early on, so that is great. And now two outs, a 1-1 one, one count. I believe that is Brandon Belt shoots that one back up the middle for a base hit. It's either Belt or Crawford. I get those two mixed up. I think it is Brandon Belt. And look, now here comes Dan Ugly with his debut in Giants uniform. See, batting 140 with only one solo home run and one RBI. And as you see, Ugly with a man on can't do what Marco Scudero did in driving in a run. He just grounds out. It's already that trade looking that it benefited us. And now we go 3-1 count to Chris Johnson, the third baseman. Tim Hudson winds up, and the pitch will be high and outside. So Chris Johnson works a walk that is rare on my channel. I'm normally a free swinger. But Chris Johnson works a two-out walk, and now Jason Hayward up. And Hayward will strike out a nasty curveball from Hudson. And that retires the top half of the side in this game. Top of the third. We're going to be going to the middle of the third here. As you see, Hudson working a successful 1-2. Or not a 1-2-3, but working a successful inning. But speaking of 1-2-3 innings, Beachy will get that one here. As a nice play by Hayward, able to corral that one. And now we go to the top half of the fourth. As looks like Beachy's been on fire to start it out. Two outs, 1-2 count. Kendrick Morales will belt this one deep. High and deep to center. Does this have enough to get out? No. Off the wall, and that will be a stand-up two-out double for Kendris Morales. Of course, as we said, replacing the injured Freddie Freeman. You see Angel Pagan played that one off the wall. And now Marco Scudero with another chance to drive in a run, and he hits it in the gap, but a nice play there by the shortstop. 
And a nice pick there by Brandon Belt at first, and that will retire the side. So Scudero could almost get a single there, but couldn't quite connect. And now Kung Fu Panda Pablo Sandoval hits this one back up the middle for a hit, trying to get something started for the Giants as they are down one nothing in this game. So Kung Fu Panda rocking that one back up the middle. And now Hunter Pence, one of their best hitters on the team, strikes out. They can't get a run here, and it is still one nothing Braves. As you see Brandon Beachy walking off the mound, doing a great job so far. And now with two outs, Tim Hudson, Andrelton Simmons now shoots that one up the gap. And that will be a single. Can we get a rally started here? Chris Johnson out. And now Simmons taking off for second, and Johnson swings. It's a hit run, and it's in the gap. And Simmons is fast. He can be running for days, and Simmons will come home. A great play there by Freddie Gonzalez calling for the hit and run. And so a two-out rally there, a hit and run with a ball hitting to the gap, and now it is two nothing Braves. So a great call for a hit and run there, as I want to see him, him getting home if it wasn't for the hit and run. But Jason Hayward can't drive in Chris Johnson as he just pops out to end the top of the fifth. But we do tack it on another run, and it is two nothing. So let's see if Beachy can continue his dominance on the mound. Hudson's looked pretty solid as well, but he was pretty much out of energy. He must not be on a full five days rest or four days rest. As you see here, nothing major except for Brandon Beachy getting hurt. It said he'll need to be removed from the game and will be off shortly to have an MRI. So it doesn't give us a flat out thing like it said with Freddie Freeman on this is bad and he's going to miss months. But Brandon Beachy was doing really good and he'll have to come out of the game so we'll get our long reliever in Gavin Floyd to come in for Beachy. So hopefully it's nothing serious, not that's going to miss multiple starts or even a start. We'll have to see. We'll find out later in the video. But as you see, Gavin Floyd picking up right where Beachy left off, getting a fly out to right field to B.J. Upton to retire the side. So the pitching dominance continue, only two hits. As you see now, Cameron Lowe coming in for Tim Hudson. And with one out, Justin Upton shoots this one into the gap as that will be high and deep off the wall. Upton has great speed, now rounding second, going to third. The relay is not going to be in time as Justin Upton gets a triple. A great play there by Justin Upton. A nice hit and hustling all the way. And as you see, look, it's Marco Scudero again. Maybe trying to get another run, but no, he strikes out. Cameron Lowe gets him on the inside fastball. And now, as you see, with one out, Gavin Floyd on the one-two. And that will be hit off of Gavin Floyd. And as you see, couldn't switch to him there as he is injured. We'll have to see what happens. And it says he took a nasty shot at him directly on his shin bone. And he will need to be removed from the game and might need a day or two. So nothing serious again. And now about this time we get word in that both of these men will be out for one to six days. So neither have to go on the 15-day disabled list. So nothing major. So that's good. Both Beachy and Floyd, were only, it, it said, was only listed under the one to six day of being out. As you see, Luis Avalon will get in there and work a one or finish off the rest of the inning. But now Cameron Lowe gets us one, two, three. Jordan Walden comes in and gives up a single here. So it looks like the Giants are going to be trying to come back as it is two to nothing. And as we see, Dan Ugla comes up and a stolen base there. Will Ugla be able to drive him in? And Dan Ugla, no, he will just ground out. So already Ugla flopping in big situations for the Giants. And now here we go. Evan Gaddis, the big caveman, swings and a misses. So a bad swing and a miss there. And now Johnny Venters comes in. Brandon Crawford comes up, up and... He shoots this one into the gap, and that's going to be extra basis. And now Venters looking to give back the run that we got a few innings ago as it is 2 nothing, but looking to cut that in half to at least 2-1, maybe even try to tie the game. It's a 3-2 count, and that will be right on the line, and a run will come into score. So they cut it in half now, 2-1. to one. But there is now nobody on base, and now there is, I guess there is somehow. I guess I forgot to show some, but now as you see, nothing major as Morales, two Venters, will retire the bottom of the eighth. So as we go to the top of the ninth now, 
just enough. He is two for three. Make it three for four after he shoots this one to left field for a single. Upton looking to start another rally. Now here comes Marco Scudero, and Scudero shoots that one into the gap between the first and second baseman. So now runners on first and second. Here comes BJ. Can BJ try to replicate what Justin's doing? And BJ hits that one into left field for a base hit, and now the bases are loaded. And now pinch hitting for Johnny Venters is 18-year-old backup first baseman Manny Onhell with the biggest at-bat of his career so far. Bases loaded. What can Onhell do? The pitch. And Onhell shoots this one pretty deep in the left. It will be caught, but deep enough for a run to come in to score. So a great veteran play there by the 18-year-old first baseman, only 54 overall, getting a sacrifice fly, cutting it to 3-1. to one. Can Angelton Simmons make it 4-1? to one? Simmons strike gets out, and they'll throw it to first base. So we do get an extra run with the bases loaded. And now here comes Craig Kimbrell. 0-1 count, gets a ground out there. Kimbrell looking to shut this down, looking to get a 3-1 to one victory. As he's able to get Kung Fu Panda out now with Hunter Pence. 3-2 count, and gets some looking. And now with an 0-2 count to Brandon Belt. He looks for strike three as well, and the Braves win. So the Braves get the victory 3-1. to one. Brandon Beachy with the win, Tim Hudson with the loss, and Craig Kimbrell with the save as we get a victory 3-1, to one, led, pro, led mainly by Justin Upton going 3-4 for four with two singles and a triple. He is going to be your player of the game here in just a minute. So a great win overall. A lot of big updates coming. Of course, we had that big trade. Maybe we'll be making some other trades. It's now we're in the middle of the May, up by three games. Don't really want to change what we're doing too much because we're being successful, but anything to improve the team, maybe in the next upcoming videos. So probably our next video will be right after the draft in early June, as you see Kimber is all happy getting the victory, as you see. Or actually, it looks like they're going to give it to Gavin Floyd because Beachy did not go three or five full innings, which is really bad for Beachy. But as we said, both of them are okay. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching as we get another victory franchise is back and hey in two weeks less than two weeks now we'll be getting it on the ps4 follow me on twitter for all the updates go to the sports blog to learn more about this episode watch some other videos you guys are amazing guys love you have a great day guys and just keep watching the stuff guys tim tebow out next peace